and welcome back to the Scrapbook Podcast, Season 2. Make our movie. Same approach, different execution. Please enjoy the show. Splurge to spend $27 on three packs of socks and be done for two years. Or just clip your toenails. Bitch, I did that today, bitch. <laughs> With your mouth? <laughs> Damn, and welcome back to the Scrapbook Podcast. This is your host, Jody Pratt. With my fellow host, Patrick Wakefall. Yeah. And this is Act 2 and 3 of The Bruisers. Um, Man, how you been, bro? You all right? You straight? <laughs> I mean... Been real yeah. Gucci, nigga. <laughs> How you been? I've been good, my boy. Huh. <laughs> Things get different. You oh, know, when people change. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the bruisers continue. Okay, so we have um, just going to give you a summation of what we had in Act 1 just to bring you back in um, to the story fully and so you don't feel like you're lost. And just to let you in on Joseph, uh, <laughs> he's very animated with his hands. And so while he's talking to you, his hands are all running about, you know what I mean? He is feeling this story like you should feel it. Thank you, thank you. So we have Bobby. Pussy man. Um, <laughs> a black standout from, uh, a black, a black standout from Kansas. He's a pitcher, right? He uh, just came from his parents' house to live with his uh, grandparents in uh Boxburg, Idaho. Then we have um then we have Kevin, who is a standout. Mm-hmm. A fucking town legend of sorts. They feel like he's going to the league as soon as he's done with high school. It just pretty much has to be written in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um when he was younger he fell out of he he started out as a pitcher. He's been doing this since he was um T ball, so four years old, five mm-hmm. years old. Fell out of the um a tree house when he was like 11, 12 years old, ruined his shoulder, his, uh, his pitching arm and, um, became a catcher instead. And also how his shoulder is fucked up. He hits dingers. You know what I mean? That kind of way. He's special in that sort of way. Um, it's not longevity. He's for sure the designated hitter because he's a catcher, mm-hmm. but also if there's bases are loaded, that nigga going to clear him. You know what I mean? Um, this is this takes place in um, Boxburg, Idaho, like I said before, uh, the 1970s, and this is a bromance. Um, so I want to take it the very first day. Before we start this, let's get our ducks in order. Okay. On which way we're headed with this. Okay. What kind of bromance are you going for? Are you going for a Seth Rogen, uh, uh, Cuddy from fucking Spider-Man? Uh, Franco, mm-hmm. are you going for a bromance like uh, Pete Davidson and fucking uh, Machine Gun Kelly? Like I don't like you know what I mean. Like are you are you going for a long running bromance? Or are you going for like this is a seasonal thing? And I will find out that we aren't supposed to be together. I want to take it in a way that is. Bad news bears in a way, but with a ex- with a violent turn. Of course, right? You're in the mix, so it has to be some kind of violent. <clears throat> exactly, I'm a violent person. Kill that nigga! Um, <laughs> but you literally said that the first <laughs> <laughs> kill that nigga. Okay. Uh, but I wanted to be in a way that they're buds, right? In and out. In a way that they have each other's back, very clearly in the is very it, first. Is it more like me and you, or me and Chris? Me and you, me and you. So because so. because it's a pitcher and a catcher relationship. Mm-hmm. I gotta toss it to you, right? You gotta call out the right shit. Otherwise, this motherfucker is gonna get on the base. Yeah. Or I'm gonna bing you upside your shit. Okay. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. I so it's a different saying. communication. Yeah. Right. So so they really read each other well. Yeah. And and they're the bruisers for the wide, yo. It, it, and that's what the fuck is gonna be. What I wanted to say, like, it's a different, it's a different thing, right? So that's their team name. 
Okay. But also, that's who they are. That's who they're going to turn out to be. And that's what they feed off of each other. They like fucking shit up. They like kicking ass. They are the Bash Brothers. Okay, Jose Canseco and... Um, was that black nigga? Uh, Sosa? Um, yeah, it was a Sosa? Uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was Jose Canseco and Barry Bonds. Oh, yeah, I don't want baseball that much. I don't know. <laughs> you better say football. You know what I mean? Hey, but it's kind of like... Um, <laughs> I would have been saying football. <laughs> it's like Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds type yeah, of thing. same time, same that, time. That, like, fucking shit one, up. One, but they Actually, weren't on the same team. Was, huh? They were never on the exactly, season. but it was what a, was on SF and what was on like Cardinals, I think. It was a when you see these motherfuckers, it's a bad. It's going to be a bad time for you if you fuck with them. You know what I mean? They have each other's back so badly that it's just like so they're on the same team, and every time you see them, it, it's a bad day in the office. Yeah, if they're they're not dirty, but it's just like if you charge the mound. You know, two niggas Kevin's are going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, two niggas are having a. Bobby, yeah, and Kevin, Kevin, yeah, Bobby and Kevin are going to be <laughs> sent to the side, being talked to. You know I mean, and it's like you got to stop kicking niggas when they're down. Yeah, that's not cool. Exactly. And they're so, like, what the fuck you mean? And they feeding each other. Like, he's a hometown hero. Kevin is, mm-hmm. but he's extremely aggressive. So is and Bobby. He's, just, he's the same age as as Cuz. Uh, he, Kevin's a year older than Bobby. Okay, so but they grew up. They grew up together. No, remember. Kevin is from Kansas. I mean, uh, um, sorry. Bobby's from Kansas. Okay. Kevin's a hometown hero in box. Oh, so th- he's walking into this. Okay. Yeah. Bobby's walking into this from Kansas. Yeah. Right? From his, He's living at his grandparents' house now. Okay. His, his grandpa, remember, is a old pitcher from the Negro Leagues. You know what I mean? From the 40s and shit. You feel me? So he's coming in to teach his, and, and to get a, a spot on, you know, a team and get drafted quicker when he's um because it's it's lighter over here than it is over in Kansas. There's hella black players in Kansas. You'll stand out here in Idaho. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember like actually talking about this and being like, "Oh, there's too many." Right. Continue. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll start with Bobby um, walking onto the field while everybody's practicing. The bruisers. The uh, oh, name an animal. I think we did this before, but well, like a regional I, animal. No, just any animal. Uh, bobcat. Bobcat bruisers, right? So they're walking on. She's. They're walking on. His grandpa is. Uh, Bobby's grandpa is a. The B is for bruisers. For the bobcat, like the B on the bobcat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's the hat they're wearing. It, exactly. So you have his grandpa walking him in, and he's shaking everybody's hand because he's a town nigga too. Mm-hmm. His grand Bobby's grandpa knows everybody. He's on. He's walking onto the Bobcat Bruisers first day of summer camp, um, summer league, I should say, mm-hmm. on baseball. And he's just like, "Oh, this is my grandson, Bobby. Bobby, this is you know, Coach Wellington. Wellington, you know what I'm saying." And he's like, oh, Stan, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, Stan, how you doing? That's Bobby's grandpa's name. Like, how you doing, Stan? He's like, oh, and they're chopping it up. He's like, hey, son, go, you know what I mean? Go warm up. He, he's real stern with his grandson. Stan is to Bobby. He's real stern. So he's just like, All right, yes, grandpa. Goes out there, drops his shit, starts to stretch. Only black person on the team. But what he promised Coach Wellington, uh, Stan did, was that he has a ringer in this motherfucker. What does that mean? The, a good fucking player. Doesn't look like it, but he's good as fuck. A ringer, that's what that means? Yes. Okay. Right? So he has a good fucking player, and it's his grandson, right? He's like, okay, I'll give him a try. Only black kid on the team. Everybody's like, what the fuck is this guy doing over here? You know, kind of talking shit. He's stretching it out with all the other pitchers and shit like that. And then practice starts getting to play. Everybody's doing sprints. Bobby's, obviously. <laughs> obviously. He's the fucking... sound is made. Exactly. <laughs> you see like a little dust. Yeah. Just leaving these niggas behind. Right. Okay. Doing the sprints. Coach and assistant. Coach Wellington and his assistant are, you know, taking notes. Uh, Stan is there. You know what I'm saying? Just like, there you go, son. Slow it down now. Don't show him too much. 
You know what I mean? Kind of thing. And he's doing his fucking thing. Kevin's on the side, you know, working his shit, warming up extra because his shoulder. You know what I mean? And um, he's but muttering the same shit that that the old cat's muttering. Yeah, yeah. Stan, yeah, his his grandpa. Don't show him too much. He's like, there you go. Don't show him too much. And then they start the bullpen opens up, and then they start to to practice. So Bobby, of course, is the last person. Um, uh, let's say there's two pitchers, right? There's a, there's a the um, first string, second string, and then we have Bobby, who's walking on, mm-hmm. right? Couldn't get the, the pinky down, by the way. I saw that and I was like, mm. <laughs> I don't want to say nothing, you know. right? So first string, psh, he's okay. whipping it. Got a good knuckleball. Got a, got a good uh, fast pitch. You know what I'm saying? Fastball. Hitting them, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. he's doing a good job. Second string. He does a decent job. He's a fat kid. Then got Bobby in there. There you go, Bobby Stan says. That's how you do it, baby. Don't don't show him too much a little bit. You know what I mean? You got a little bit of pepper on that. Hey, slow it down, you know what I mean? It's longevity, longevity. You know what I mean? Stan is telling his uh his grandson, right? And he's whipping it out, and the coach Wellington's just like, "Okay, you got Kevin over there catching all of them," and he's looking over at the coach Wellington, and he just like gives him like a head nod, like, "Okay, this is a motherfucker." You know what I mean? You got something? You got something? Okay. No, the, no, the, I was listening to the story. Okay, the, the frown. Story. I don't know the frown. I was like, "Did you want to interject?" I'm, I'm thinking of. Things okay, okay. about it. Like, you want this shit to end violent, right? Oh, yeah, but we're starting good, though. We're yeah, but you slow. have your idea of ending. No, no, no. I no, want to no, add no, my not... idea of an ending. Okay, run it. No, I'm saying, like, I'm building my oh, okay, okay. ending as I'm saying. Okay, okay, but <clears throat> so. Because you got a violent ending. Somebody's going to get something, well, something. But, but that's the thing. I, okay, all right. We're going to work it, right? Because I, I want to go with whatever the fuck you're, whatever you're thinking. Kevin gives him the nod, like he and uh, coach is just like, okay, you know. Then they at, introduce the batters in to get practice, and first string he goes like seven for nine, striking niggas out. Last two hit it right the fuck out of the park, right. Mm. Second string who went three for nine. Bobby went nine for nine, struck struck everybody out. <clears throat> And then Kevin's just like, hey, coach, you know what I mean? Let me hit. So you get kind of the same. You're getting different stories throughout the whole shit. So Touch on that a little bit more then. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> while Stan is watching Bobby and giving him pointers and shit like that, mm-hmm. you're getting the point of view of Kevin. And Kevin, who's watching Kevin, is his father. And his mom. Silent, quiet as fuck, reserved in a way, but he's gonna let him hear it in the car. It's a, it's a certain fucking time of an age. Yeah, and it's the seventies. Yeah. So it's a little bit more outspoken, but this is coming off of right out of civil rights into Vietnam. So it's a lot of there's a lot of energy into that. You drop a few words you probably shouldn't say in public. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially when your son gets ousted. Yeah. By a Negro. So Kevin's just like, okay, you know, since he's a catcher, he's like, and he knows he's the best pitcher. He knows. Uh, he's, no, he's known he's the best hitter on the team. Yeah. So he's just like, let me grab, you know what I mean? Grab the bat. So he says, I want to stay on the whole time through every pitcher. I want to see, you know what I mean? By the time I get to Bobby, I'll be warmed up Kevin's thinking. Right. You know, cranks his shoulder a little bit, starts to whip it out. First, first K goes, um, first string goes one for nine. So Kevin's smacking the shit out of this. <clears throat> Second goes zero for nine. Bobby goes seven for nine. Right, and every time he's he struck him, it's like everybody's starting to surround it a little bit. Now his dad starts to pipe up. He was reading the newspaper before. He folded it, and now he's standing up, watching. He's like, oh, this motherfucker's good. Like, who who is this kid? And now it 
at the fifth pitch that he has struck out on. His dad now walks onto the field, stands next to Stan. Bit much, bit much. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I'm not saying no, that. No, 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 go ahead, run it. No, I'm just saying that's a bit much for a nigga to do. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> you were just out there, Pop. You know, chill. It, it's a kid's game, you know what I mean? And, and, then he's, and then he's like, uh, Stan next to Stan. Stan notices him, and he's just like, go ahead, give it to him. Whips it again, knocks it right out of the fucking park, right? And then that's where, that's where the three come in. What did I say, seven for nine? The three in a row. Bow. He's laying them out. Bow. Bow. And then the last one, Bobby gets him, and everybody's like, yo, what the fuck, nigga? I didn't even know you was like that, bro. And Bobby's just like, yeah, you know, he's, he's getting the adulation. Like, he's getting all that, um, the the cheers and the, you know what I mean? But he looks at his grandpa, and his grandpa's just like, nah, he shut the fuck up because he got off a couple hits on you. You know what I mean? How you think these other boys with two good arms going to do? Mm. Saw his grandpa and was just like, oh, fuck. And, um, that's the hometown hero, but you don't realize like he's better than everybody in the bullpen. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to strike all of everybody else out. Exactly. So practice still goes on. It was like a two, three hour practice. Everybody gets their shit. And uh, at the end, you know, some people shake his hand. Some people just like completely dismiss Bobby. Kevin comes up to him, just like, "Hey, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm Kevin," and it's kind of that. I want the '70s kind of racism to go back and forth. You know what I mean? He's like, "Hey, you know, boy, where you from?" And he's like, "Don't fucking call me boy." You know what I mean? Like he's very aware from being from Kansas. Kansas is one of those states that are just like yeah, right there, south and north. Where the ooga booga is at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's just like, uh, and then kind of goes back and forth, and it's a a bit bar uh, barbs come back and forth between mm-hmm. them, but they fuck with each other because none of them, neither one of them, back down from it, right? And sometimes like that, it, it is a good thing to not back down, mm-hmm. but it's also a good thing to like uh, understand when you should bow up. Yeah, and that's where and that's where the respect came from. He didn't back down. I'm not gonna say more, but I'm gonna keep at the same level of talking shit. Yeah. Kevin and yeah. Bobby do. You know what I mean? And they shake hands, like real tight grip, look at each other's eyes. Yeah, oh, you strong. You squeeze apples and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then um to break it up, because Stan feels it, Bobby's grandpa. Uh-huh. He comes in and he's just like, Oh, hey, you know, good job, son. You know, this Kevin. Kevin he's a he was a the uh, number one pitcher, you know, try to give his accolades, kind of bust him out too, but telling him where the mark is. Mm-hmm. Kevin, you know, he did this, but I know you can do that. You know what I mean? He's just like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I, I talked to him for a little bit. He's like, all right, son, you know, let's get out of here. And then he, Coach Wellington comes up to him, and he's just like, boy, you got a good ass motherfucking, you know, talking to him and shit like that. He's like, it's Bobby. And he's like, oh, Bobby, you know what I mean? I, I would love for you to play for us. You know, how, how do you feel about that? And he's like, what time does practice start? And then, you know, Stan's just like, ha, ha, good. You know what I mean? Takes the nigga out to um, to pick his choice of meat. He going to grill tonight type Mel's, of thing. Mel's Diner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take him to a Mel's Diner and get some chicken strips. Um, so... I want the days of practice to go and and them grow together because now Bobby is a top seed now. He's number one. And just off that day of practice, and as the days go past, he just solidifies that, right? And it's quite clear. And who doesn't like it is the first string pitcher. So they go in and uh, the, first, the first thing, is this all coming off the top of your head? Yes. Good on you, bro. Yeah. The the first thing that, the first issue that comes about is they're all changing in the, you know what I mean? In the dressing room and shit like the dressing room. The fucking, um, look in at the this back. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> right? They're, they're all showering and shit like that. And the first string pitcher says something like that. Like, like, um, I thought all that mud washed off. And Bobby was just like, got your number. Hold this. Bang. Hold that nigga. 
And everybody's like, yo, like fight, 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 fight. Bobby's nigga. Fight naked? Bobby's like in a towel. Mandingo shit? Bobby's in a towel. Um, a first string pitcher. Come up with a name. Uh, Brent. Brent. Brent's in, in, Brent's in the skivvies. Like, only in his drawers. And he's just like, he's like, come on. Like, you know what I mean? Caught me off, ba- caught me off guard. Like, what's up? You Joe Lewis now? And he's just like, whoo, nigga, hold it. Bow, bow. Right? <laughs> you know good fighters, I guess. Bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hops on him, right? And then there's some other people that start to pipe up. They they end up grappling, fall to the ground, and they start to, like, jump on the nigga a little bit. Just enough, a kick here, a kick there. Right? Kevin comes, shoves a couple of people off, and then nigga just, like, punches Kevin. And now he's brawling, too. Like, he's fighting two niggas. Mm -hmm. And Bobby gets up after kicking the nigga in the nuts. Old school 70s style shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then they start to pop, pop, and they come, like, to each other. The fall out when the short. (laughs) You don't say who it was, but you see a testy. Yeah. You're like, that nigga's going to have long balls when he's old. (laughs) And they come, like, they, like, kind of flinch at each other and know that they aren't the enemy. That's, like, a big, it's the obvious thing. That's going to show about, but it's a clear thing. Like, we're friends. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hate to go cornball with it, but it's a definitive movie cornball thing that happens every time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, just like in a Rush Hour, when they start to do like the, huh, 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 and, and then they, start to, they, they hold hands. And they kick each other, or even... Like, oh, we work better together. Yeah, exactly. And then they have orchestrated moves that they've never taught each other. <laughs> exactly. And they see, like, we're not the enemy. They're the enemy. Anybody who's who's not for this right here, because you believe in me, and yeah. I believe in whatever the fuck you got to give, mm-hmm. that's a, that is an unsaid thing between them. When they looked at each other, they're just like... Yeah, and everybody knew that because they're like, I got a nigga. <laughs> like, no, no, yeah. Neither y'all can hit a front kick. <laughs> Stop saying that you they have turn that around and they just start. They go back to back kind of way. You know what I mean? They're just mm-hmm. like, like what's and good? back to back. I know nothing behind me is gonna fall yep. unless I do. Exactly. So and gang shit. Right then and there, that's when Coach Thirty Seven Block East. <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't gang. <laughs> that's just when just. the coach comes in. Like, hey, break it up! Break it up! You know what I mean? And the, Sick. They all stop it, but they end it with like them back to back banging people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like like, like really they, jump, it they, in. they stop. They're, everybody's like, oh. And then like Bobby throws one. Bow. Cause, <laughs> right to the side <laughs> of a nigga's ear. You know what I mean? Uh, or it, it could be like the other way around. Like they stop fighting immediately and then Bobby gets clocked, right? No, what What if a uh, white homie gets clocked? Oh, Ke- yeah, yeah. Kevin gets binked. And and, and like, that leads Bobby into a frenzy that they're like he was overly aggressive and you're like no he just hit bro when we you told us to stop we stopped mm-hmm. they didn't stop yeah so now that they didn't stop I'm gonna keep that energy and, and, and go knock out this exactly person. and then he like he runs up to the nigga that hit him and says hey, 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 I said fucking stop blowing the whistle and shit like that assistant coach gets in there whistles don't do right? shit Jeff for right? teachers listening they As- don't do shit assistant, uh, assistant coach comes in there and push it up he's like I saw Bobby you know what I'm saying and he's just like what the fuck are you talking about we came in the same time like I saw y'all at the same time were you just here watching and yeah. shit like that he was like coach I think this I think this guy's bad news this new guy the assistant coach says right and He's just like, um, go ahead, sit in my office, Bobby. Kevin, you too. Kevin's just like, getting, he gets picked up off the ground and he shit. He's dizzy and shit. He's like, yeah. fuck, man. He got a shiner. He got he got caught on the on the wrong side of where his arm is fucked up. Yeah. So like, his reaction time, as far as like, pulling that arm up to guard <laughs> it slow himself, down. it was slower. Exactly. It was slower. So they, um, they're in the office and shit like that. And he's talking to him. He's just like, and I had to call your, you know what I mean? You're focusing and shit like that. And this, I want to say is, I want to say like the third weekend. So next week we start playing. This will just practice now. 70s, right? Yeah. They're going to talk to the principal? No, they're talking to the coach. After, no after a big fight. After a big fight, they're not going to anybody up besides the coach? Yeah, because okay. it's, it's summer league. Yeah. Okay. All right, so... um, 
I'm just going to go off of what I think the coach should be then for this situation. Okay. Is, so remember, it's Coach Wellington. And, coach Wellington. And then if you want the assistant coach to be in there, he can be named whatever you want to. Uh, yeah. We'll come to that when we get to that. Yeah. Wellington is, uh, he's perturbed because he knows what this is about, but he wants him to get through it faster. He's like, this is, it's going to be what it's going to be. You guys are going to not agree with each other. You're not going to like that this new person is good. Deal with it. Fight him. And it's that old school style, like, I get in trouble for telling my kid to go, if somebody punches him, punch him back. Fuck it. And they're like, no, you can't do that because the boat gets suspended. I'm like, no. He needs to know how to dig his feet in the dirt and go back at who's, like, hitting him. Mm-hmm. Same idea in the 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, and beyond, or past, or whatever. So what I'm thinking is that he's just like, I need this shit to stop. I know you're good. Um, You used to be great. And he's talking to Kevin at that point. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's great. You used to be great. You guys can learn from each other. You can teach him what you knew. And he's like, I still can do things. And then he, like, this is just the opening stanza of, like, the, really, the whole really. argument, right? It's good. And he's like, uh, you, you know, like, athletically, he had more to go off of. What did you have, be, like, besides a good arm? He's got speed. He's got, like, like not, not that he's going into all these details, but he's saying it in what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. That like in shorter words, but yeah. you're just expanding upon exactly and, and reading in between the lines. Exactly, yeah. I'm reading in between what he's saying. He's saying essentially, straight out. He's just like, you had talent, and God can't help injuries. You know, had you not been in that fucking treehouse, you made his majors, baby. But you're not, and realistically, you won't. But he can. You got knowledge, and I see that you guys like each other, and I know a lot of these good old boys around here aren't going to like him. It's going to be a trying time for him, so lean on each other. And that's where you get that like overall theme really? of it, mm-hmm. is that you have a mm-hmm. man who doesn't even necessarily believe in Bobby like that. He just wants to succeed, and he knows the coattails or at Bobby's ankles. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like, the only person that defended you, because if I was in this situation, I wouldn't have done that. So you've got a real a real brotherhood of two people that are crossing paths as far as um, trajectory in life, athletically. One One's not in a decline, but he's not on an incline. Plateau. Exactly. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. I'm still going to ding him out the park but when we get to a national level, I'm probably not going to be able to. Yeah, I'll probably get second base. Yeah. At most. At most. Yeah. At most. Yeah. And after a while, they stop. They let you go for that. Bobby's going to be dinging him, or he's going to be running. He's going to be stealing bases. He's going to be fucking doing all the things he should be doing. So that's that's the relationship that's raw about it, is that he knows Bobby has a future, and he's stuck here. Mm-hmm. Do we keep the friendship going when you're teaching me things that I know you're going to use in the majors? When I'm sitting here counting apples at the fucking, you know, corner market. Yeah. I'm the best player in this town. Used to be. Fuck. And so there is that bit of jealousy, but they got each other's back. And so it becomes... It becomes like a little, like a big brother situation, but not like I talk to you like a big brother. More like a, like, you're getting over a fence and a nigga gives you a booster, mm. like a boost. Yeah. You're, you're the boost. But I, I'm going to lift you over the fence if I can. So it's never either side is going to leave somebody. It's more of like, you're you're getting him to a place that you should have been. Mm. Doesn't mean that you're not good. It just mean that you you can't be that good because of the injury, man. Yeah. 
you you would have went to nationals with this shit. You you would have been a first pick. But life happens. And your mother and your father always taught you, you know, rub some dirt on that kind of shit. They're from fucking where? Idaho. Idaho. Rub dirt on it. Yeah. They break a neck and they're like, rub dirt on it. And you're like, rub dirt on death? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm going to go die. But that's how I feel it should go as far as like the energy for it. But what you do is, this is going to be stupid. Tell me it's stupid because it sounds stupid in my head as I'm thinking of it. Dumb. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Bobby, ha who is that? That uh, that that Olympic chick that went into some shit, and somebody like broke her ankle right before some shit. It was like a, a skater. Tanya Harding. Tanya, damn. She did it. She did it. Tanya Harding did it. Yeah. The chick she did on was hot, yeah. but anyways, like shit like that. But it's old school shit where people are like jealous of the fact that the home the hometown hero has changed up. They're calling him a whole bunch of like derogatory terms because he's backing the only black person in the in the community. Mm -hmm. Not the only black person in the community, but the black person that is excelling in the sport that is the national pastime. Because mm -hmm. baseball at that time was the shit. The shit. Like every every millions of views, everything. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, we can't have this, you know, this person doing this. And Who's so saying this? It's I would say it's a team around it. Okay. I, I I like they had a whole fight. You think they got over that shit after they lost? I know that but progress, keep on going. No, but what I'm saying is that yeah. like they they never got over it. They work they work with them as little as they can. There's no handshakes, no ass slaps at the end of he hits a double or whatever the fuck they call shit for baseball. Mm-hmm. And nobody's giving him his ass slap. His ass is cold as shit. Yeah. But, but that's the thing. The best part is they are the team. Even without the other people, they're the team. Because yeah. he's still striking niggas out. They're not getting on the board. And homeboy's hitting Exactly. Dangers. So even if they don't have, the team doesn't have their back, it's still them two. But it, that's it, what the it, best it, part was. It separates them from the whole scenario where you get the bromance. Where it's like, Dog, I grew up with these kids, and well, why does it separate? Well, it separates them because they got into a big ass squabble. But that's the thing; they felt that way about him even before that. Yeah, he was even believing if the coach says that you were even going to make it to nationals, but everybody believes in this nigga who has, who has one arm. Mm -hmm. The whole team is like, y'all are backing this nigga. He doesn't even have everything, all his faculties about him. Mm -hmm. They feel the same way. They're playing on the same team. They've been playing on the same team. That's not a hidden fact that he has one arm. It's not a hidden fact that he wasn't getting picked up by other people. I wasn't it was saying very, it was a hidden it was, fact. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, okay. I'm making it clear. Okay. That it's a, it's a fact that other people want to get on board. That first string pitcher was decent until Bobby came on. Mm -hmm. But everybody backed Kevin before Bobby came here. To, to see where the real radar was, Kevin had to stand well, on Kevin, the pitcher. Kevin was a catcher, though, right? At that point. Right? Yeah, but he, he's a designated hitter as well. Okay. So so he got some he got some heat on Kevin initially, and that's what the respect was built off of? It was, it was built off that of he can get a hit off of me, as well as... The, I can get one past him. I can get one past him, as well as he can throw a fucking ball. That's why the whole eye contact... With Kevin and the coach happened, and he nodded his head like he's throwing fucking heat. This is hard as fuck. And he's like, you know, I hit. This is and this is at least he, he's throwing at least ninety, like at fifteen. And Cuddy ain't never known a pull up. Yeah, so that's what that was shared. You know what I mean? As well as, so we're getting past this conversation, and now it's the second or third game. Right, okay. they're like three and zero, two and zero in the summer league, mm -hmm. and now they're out of their games go longer, huh? Like, like are they like uh, nine innings? Same. Thing. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like a uh, season wise. 
It's not like a crazy amount. It's summer, so it's shorter. So there's no way it's like 160. It's like what, 20? Um, 15? Some shit like that. Maybe like 30, 30, 35 games or so. 35 games. That's a lot in the summer. No, okay. it's, it's not. I know, but this sounds like a lot, though. Yeah, if you play a couple times a week, it's not. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Um, so we say, um, all right, so this is like their third or fourth game, and they're undefeated so far. They're going further and further out of town, you know what I'm saying, and, and playing other people. And Bobby gets, like, kind of nervous because he's further and further away. This This game was the only game his grandpa missed. Cause he has to handle shit somewhere else. So Kevin is being that person for him. He's giving up. You know what I mean? He's, he's fouling people out. I mean, they're taking first base and shit like that. And he's, um, trying to get his head in the game. And Kevin sees he's not, you know, coach goes up there on after the, the third walk in a row, because one more and they, niggas are going to get, get bases. And as we said before, the team isn't on their on their side on this shit. So they're willing to give up to show that Bobby's shit and mm-hmm. shouldn't be on the fucking team. He see look, he gave up a, a home run. You know what I mean? So they go in to talk to him and shit like that, and Kevin's just like, Look, motherfucker, like you got this shit. And he's like, nah, believe it. Like he has that belief in him, but his grandpa was a person to when he had doubt in himself, he'd be like motherfucker get to it he's like yeah you're right you're right gotta get to it so being that person for himself so he's a bit codependent on that and kevin just like tells him the same shit and the next and they walk mm. off the the he walks off the mm. um, say it again the coach for the niggas in the background that didn't hear it uh i forgot what i said um well, he just reiterated what his grandpa was telling yeah, him the whole time the same shit and just picked up okay go ahead go ahead so he walks like off it. they walk off the shit Start striking niggas out, right? Comes to come to comes to the ninth inning. It's tied three three. And Bobby throws it. Boom! Beans the nigga. <sighs> Takes first base. The dude wants to charge the fucking mound, and everybody's like, "Boo, man, fuck that nigga, bro!" And <laughs> and uh, the second person comes in. He he throws two strikes. Third one beans him. That nigga charges the mound. The first nigga behind him was a. Uh, Kevin, and yep. I want this to kind of be a, you know, very 70s in the fact that he just takes off his gloves, his glove, and throws in the back of the the uh, of the hitter's head, and the hitter, like, he turns around, he's a big motherfucker, I want him to be like a, like, the DH for the other team, the designated hitter for the other team, okay. they're usually a big, fat motherfucker, you know, baseball, motherfucker, my kid did softball, so I had to know about hitting and all that shit like that, I had to watch a lot, so... <clears throat> They're usually big motherfuckers that you don't see unless, you, you know, what I mean? it's time to call him in. You know what I mean? He's blowing backs out or he's hitting shit out the field. Exactly. He's either, only two things. He's either hit, eating hoagies or hitting hoagies. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, he's charging the mound and Kevin just like throws his his glove like right in the back of his head. And the nigga turns around. I wanted to be kind of like, um, have you seen... um uh. What is that movie with Jodie Foster and uh, uh, Nicolas Cage, Raising Arizona? So it's like a big gorilla looking nigga like that. Nicholas Cage is in Raising Arizona? Yes. You know that? Huh. Fantastic movie. Anyway, they still, they still babies. I'm but- almost positive that was a show. That's why I, I, yeah, know, really? I didn't it's know a movie. It. It's a movie. Yeah, Jodie I, was Foster, like, I was like, how many seasons they have it? Jodie Foster was a mom, and she couldn't have babies and shit, so they still a baby. She didn't have uh, lips. Uh, Anyways, continue. So, um, that that nigga, the main villain, who gets who tries to get the baby back, and he's whooping his shit out of Nicolas Cage, and he steps on his hand, and he's fucking Nicolas Cage up. <laughs> but he kind of looks like that, and like they, and he's fucking him up. I gotta finish this shit. So he's whooping the shit out of Nicolas Cage, stumping on his hands and shit like that, pulling his hair, <laughs> punch him in the gut, right? And as they're like scuffling, and he's just fucking Nicolas Cage up, hits him with the uppercut. Nicolas Cage is lying on his back, and he's walking away, right? Mm-hmm. He's walking towards the baby to go get the baby, the the uh, villain is. 
and Nicolas Cage like turns around, um, turns towards him, and he shows the pins and the grenades that the guy had around his wa- his chest, and the dude just like, whoa, and blows the fuck up. <laughs> again. That shit is so oh, fucking awesome. Movies. That shit is awesome as fuck. But anyway, <laughs> he starts to charge the mound, at, and then Kevin hits him in the back of the head with his ca- uh, catcher's mitt. And now he turns towards Kevin and now the benches are one bench clears. Cause remember they're not even on their fucking side. Yeah. Right. And Kevin just like, come on motherfucker. Right. And then you see Bobby jumps on this nigga's back and they're just like, it's like a victory thing. Kevin thought he was all by himself. He thought he was alone in this fucking fight after he has his back. Cause he's stumping right towards him. And then his boy Bobby comes right through. Uh-huh. Nigga, nigga, right? He, nigga. He's on his back hitting that shit, and then they clear the the bench clears, and the coach is like, "Get the fuck out of there!" For Bobcat Bruisers, get the fuck in there! And everybody's just like, "Are we oh. close to the ending?" Uh, no, we're not even. Okay, we're not even. Because I was going to say, and Bobby gets hit in the back of the head with a bat. <laughs> right, so they're fucking tussling and shit like that, and then they end up like the teams. It gets the team closer together because the bench is clear and they're fucking brawling and shit like that, but. It's but it's they're the only two that are brawling, Bobby and Kevin. Mm-hmm. They're the only niggas throwing punches. Everybody else is trying to break it up. They're throwing uh, overhands and shit like that. Niggas are throwing back at them. Yeah, but their teams, they, holding their them. team, yeah, is just like let's stop this. Yeah, the Bobcat Bruises are just like all right, let's stop. And then Bobby and Kevin are just like, what's up? You know what I mean? Let's go and. Every, like the Bobcat Bruisers side, like they're cheering and shit like that. And they like dap each other up. They get back on the mound, finish a the game. They won. Um, they won a four, three. Right. And on the, on the way back, Kevin's just like, Hey man, you know, give them tips and shit like that. Like, you know, you got to do this and that. And he was like, okay, you know, that's cool. But you know what I mean? You got to turn over your left hand if you're going to throw a punch. And then they're kind of like laughing and like bullshit and shit like that. Do you like the Carpenters? And they're just like, yeah, of course, nigga. I love that shit. And, and and they build even more. And through the season, like halfway through. can it, So this is the summer. So this is the summer of love. Yeah. No gay shit. But I'm not that that's wrong. But I'm saying like it's it's strictly just a summer of knowing somebody. Yeah. And learning a different life. That you've not walked, or, or or shoes that you've not you know walked. Kind well, of thing. well, they both walk the same shoes. Well, as far as like uh, backing up somebody that you didn't like initially, and, that's the and, thing. Kevin didn't have any sort of it like either opinion about him. So he he had no initial. He's uh, judging it off of skill, his skill, because he's been judged. He has one fucking low key atrophied arm. Yeah. And he, exactly, I can still hit better than your side. Exactly, but that's what it shows. He's like, okay, let's see what this motherfucker does. Oh, he's good. I fuck with him because everybody judges me. I know what it feels like. It's right. So, so it's Overhand no, right it's no crazy. shoes being switched because they he already knows how it feels. You know what I mean? To be based off of what you look like instead of what the fuck you do. Yeah, the attribute arm would 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 lend that. Yeah. So. They get closer and closer, you know what I mean? And through just, I want to say they literally are fighting random motherfuckers that have a problem with them being friends whatsoever. They jump on these niggas. But they win a lot of them. Yeah, and they win like, and it's whenever they're losing, then they, they're like, oh, let's, like they like run away because they know they're going to lose in the, at, in the decision, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, let's get out of here. <laughs> like, old school shit. Like, yeah, and Scooby-Doo, like, we should get out of here, jinkies. And they just bail out of, like, a, a misdemeanor. Yeah, exactly, Where bro. the cops get there, like, they saw your green shirt, nigga. They're, like, riding bikes together or some shit, and somebody's backing out. And um, Bobby pass it. The yeah, they pull out, and they're just like, and he's like, watch it, nigga. Like, and then... Kevin He's like a, turn, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> turns around, this bike. Turns, hey. ar- turns around and punches this nigga right through the window. <laughs> Bing, hold that! Hold and the nigga just like reaching, <laughs> he starts to reach under his seat and shit like that, like hella dazed. And he knows he got a pistol, so Bobby's just like the first nigga gone. 
Like, come on, nigga. Like, and then they both, you know, get the they fuck out of there. Dip. Exactly. And then, like, oh. so it's a summer of them fighting racism. And, racism, and like, people. It, like, the, the social idea of, like, males being friends with that woman around, the social idea of of somebody taking your spot and you should be hateful of that person. And yeah. they're like, nah, like, he's got the juice. Yeah. Why not pour more into his cup? That whole social construct of all that all masculinity. All that for a whole summer. Whole summer of them just fucking people up. Bruising up. niggas' chins the and bruisers. bellies, nigga. They're the bruisers, bro. You know what I mean? And that... And, and they build a local, like, a local, like... Lore about them. Lore about them, like, hey, one doesn't at, go without the other. You know, if you have yeah. one foot, the second foot must step. And that's what they are. And it's... and it's um Oh, I love it. it it's even down to giving girls and shit like that. Because Kevin, he's a bit shy. He knows he's that guy. He gets the attention, though. Mm-hmm. But Bobby's very charismatic in that way. They're just like he's like, hey, you know what I mean? Let's go. He's like, you know, I'm I'm a bit trying to hide his arm. He's like, yeah, it's not oh. hella at your feet, but you can tell. Yeah, you can it's see it in the shirt. You, yeah, because he's wearing those little cut off shirts that have like the red ribbon around it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you and know he, what I mean. And he helps Bobby helps him trying to get his muscle up and shit like that, be a better hitter, and he does. They progress each other in in very like big big ways, and different exercises and shit like that. But the girls. He gets the attention, but Bobby is the finisher. He he can reel him in. He gets uh, Kevin gets him on the hook. Bobby reels him in, and they're Are like, "You trying to go wa- like watch a movie tonight?" Yeah, and they're just like, <laughs> "We wouldn't even know." He's just like, "We got four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we can pay for y'all." <laughs> and they're fucking smooching in the fucking movie theaters, or even <laughs> little baby. I'm just like. Yeah, and like Grover rubbing titties and shit. They're like trading stories back and forth. In my strong hand. They even like they even start to drink a little bit together. You know what I'm saying? Just like friendship. And um, maybe one time, different girls. Maybe one time they like get caught in a girl's room and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And Bobby's the first nigga to jump out like out the window. And then Kevin just like <laughs> punches the dad in the stomach. <laughs> And it's like, and he's just like, and then he jumps out of that Stacey! shit. Stacy, <laughs> you know how mad I'd be to pull up and try to like get niggas out of my daughter's room. Yeah, and get hit by a nigga with the atrophied arm. It was like, but the other arm is strong enough to maybe go. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, I gotta shoot hit somebody nigga, tomorrow. Oh, for real, they hit a nigga <laughs> all in his guts, and they're like, they're smart enough to do out of town shit. It's whenever they're on the road. You know what I mean? So because they're winning, exactly. So and the team doesn't fuck with them, so they're on their own vibe. Exactly. Um, maybe their first loss comes right before the semi, like the the tournament at the end, because every okay. every league has like a tournament at the end and shit like that. You show. So maybe their first loss, and that goes to test. So everybody has a build up, a break, and a comeback, right? And that shows a break in their relationship when they lose for the first time. And it was, it was Kevin not believing Bobby can do what he needs to do. And Bobby not believing Kevin calling the right calls. So they're off on the different pages. You know what I mean? And they're just like, he's like, throw a fastball right here. You got this motherfucker out. He was like, dude, if played by numbers, if I hit him with a curveball, he gets to first base. That's two outs right there. I just strike out the next motherfucker. He's like one at a time. He's like, man, shit the fuck, bro. I got it, man. And it's kind of like a riff in the relationship because you always have to have a fucking riff. So he's like, boom, they lose 2-1. What about if you change that to uh, to Kevin? And he's like, they're like, He's having to go up to bat as opposed to him striking them out, just because, okay. like, just because it lends to him trying to go on his old metal, like you know, to go on what he knows he can do. And he's like, "Hey, don't, I don't want to be back in the bullpen, you know, I don't want to be there and realize we're down three and I could have made a difference." And he's like, "No, like, understand, I do what I do. You do what you do out there, right?" 
I do what I do. And so I feel it, I feel it would be more emotionally consistent. Talk that shit. So to, to, so explain the conversation then. Well, the conversation. So who's who's having a conversation with who and and why it happened? This is the cool part. I think it would, it should be between Kevin and the coach. Okay. Prior to him talking to Bobby. Okay. And him being like, "Hey, you know, Bobby's cleaning it out. He's doing his job, but you know, you built this team. You 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 are you are the captain of this team." And he's like, "We don't have any captains on this team." He's just like, "But but you are though. People follow you. They follow your your." You're, you're, you know, where you go. And if you're going towards not trying to prove yourself and help somebody else out, and he's like, I'm not helping anybody else out. What what people are doing on their own is what they're doing on their own. And he's like, but it's almost like he's kind of not letting you shine. Maybe make it the assistant coach. Because okay. the head coach is for all the shit. So, okay, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah. It you said coach. there was an assistant coach, you didn't give him a name. So. No, no, I said the name, you're like, I'll come up with it later. That's what you said. Yeah, it doesn't matter which to, coach is just, doing just it, really. trying to breed this fucking... Distrust. Distrust, right? Because they see the... It's not even that they see the momentum. They just, they just don't want him to put energy into helping him when, like, he's... I don't, I don't even know how I'm trying to... No, no, you're, you're saying it right, but you're trying to... You're muddying yourself up. Like it's the to breed that distrust in between them, it separates them. So yeah, you and, get them off the team fast, and, and, and you become that star again. And right? that's what that's what causes the break is that he's just like, why are you? F-? Because they have this dialogue of being like on the outside, you wanted an in, you wanted a fast, you wanted a curve, and he's not reading him correctly. He's like, if I don't feed you the shit, are you as good as you are? And so he goes into that whole like thought process of the person talking to him. And then as Bobby is throwing shit, he's missing, but he's also getting hits. People are also hitting it. And he's just like, come on, bro, like, what are you doing? He's like, you, you know, you know, Kurt, we do this every fucking day. And he's just like, huh, you're not as, like it, it almost is that break of like, um, I had it. You have it. Now I don't have it. And somebody showed me that you have it. He knew that he was good. That's why he was drawn to him. He was like, you got it. If you could, if you could strike me out, you got it. Mm-hmm. Now he's just like, damn, I'm, I'm the catcher. I could feed him some wrong shit. That's what the nigga told him, the, the, the assistant coach. And he was like, clearly from Alabama. Anyways, uh, tells him some salty shit. And then, you know. I feel like I'm ruining this story. No, no, you have it right. You, you're, you're making it. You're cut. You're talking my idea and yours at the same time. Just talk yours. You have it right when it comes to Kevin hitting. Just have it on that his fuck up on that. So he's like, coach is telling him, hit the second. Then we got Bobby up there. He'll get you at least a third before he gets the fuck out of there because his hitting ain't that great. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, I can clear it out. Dude, we have one more fucking out left. I need for you to just get to second. That's it. And he's just like. And Bobby and him and had that toggle. He's like, I clear out. I, I could make this not the situation. And he's yeah. like, I can do this. And, and you're Bobby's right, just you're like. Right. Fuck, I should he's like, with that. don't trip about it. He's just like, no, dude, I got it. He's like, all right, bro. He's like, but it's on you, dog. It's. You know what I mean? And he's just like, whatever. Like, don't put that shit on me, bro. I don't need that, all that fucking, you know what I mean? He's like, I got it. Like I usually fucking do before you got here. Oh. Goes up to there. Throws out that random shit. He's like, you know, there used to be heroes in this town before you. And he's like swinging that, like the the weight on the bat as he says it. He's like, yeah. there used to be heroes out here before, before you, you know what I mean? Like, my name is known too. And he's just like, that's not what I'm... Saying, all right. And he goes up there, misses that first one, it's kind of, and it's building. Like, I wanted to build. He 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 um, fouls the first one. and no, I'd say he gets struck out the first one and fouls the second one, but it seems like a, a homer. He, so he didn't strike out. So he hits a strike, and then the second is a foul? Or not a strikeout. I meant a strike. That's what I meant. 
So so we're wanting them to lose. Yes. The whole game, right? No, no, that's what this is their first yeah. loss. Yeah, yeah. So we're wanting to lose this game. So the first one's a strikeout. Yeah, Clean. first one's a strike, right? Because strikeout means you're completely out. Strike. So, I keep saying strikeout. It's, a, it's oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first one's a strike. Second one's a foul ball. But far. Yeah, like, far. it could have been close to a homer. Exactly. Second one's a foul ball. The third one would be a walk in the base if it's another foul, right? Three no, fouls uh, is a walk? Um, I believe... I thought three fouls was the same as three strikes. Like you, I walk, believe I four fouls is a is a walk. I'm not sure. So, so, so he throws him twice. He he fouls it twice, and the third one, he hits it, bang, and he he kind of you know give it up, motherfucker. I told you, Literally. Bobby, look at me, I got you, bro, and he starts to run, and and nigga outfield just like, it's my one job. <laughs> got it out. Game over. Game fucking over. Coach throws his hat on the ground. Motherfucker! I told you, Kev. And Kevin's just like, he's hitting the fat man trot around it, and he sees it getting caught. And he's just like, fuck. Everything slows down. People start celebrating around him. And everybody and everybody in the dugout is screaming, throwing their hats. Yeah. It's over. At it's kind of like Bobby. somber in there. And Bobby is just like looking directly at him. We're like a dead here, like, bro. We had it, we had it. Why go if it's not broke? Why did you? Why did you try to fix it? And everybody's just like, it's, it's good, Kevin, and shit like that. And he comes up to Bobby trying to apologize, like, and then Bobby's just like, ah, nigga, I ain't trying to hear this shit. Packs all his shit up. He's like, you trying to hit up the the, the, the uh, get a malt after this? And he's just like, I should probably get home. Right. Stuff is bad. He's like, you don't want to go home. Your dad won't talk about baseball. You hate baseball. <laughs> what are you talking about? Right? Your grandpa and shit. So they you know what I mean. they go their separate ways. Right? And it's like a real like, blue moon, I see you standing alone. The nigga's looking out the windows. He's like, I miss my nigga, bro. And it's a real, they try to, Kevin tries to call him. It's a few days, bro. Eating the Abba Zabba. <laughs> and right before this shit is when the tournament starts. So they have like a two week break and then the tournament begins. And they've been kicking it solid every day every for about fucking day. For about a good two and a half months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and they, they're looking out the windows and shit, putting their head on the glass, listening to fucking E forty. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> for real though. Um <laughs> right, continue. Sit around and been around it when the sun go down. <laughs> Are you ready to party? Niggas just like my hey. hyena. My hyena. Ah. <laughs> Ain't nothing like these summer nights. Okay, so we get that in there just, <laughs> just to upset. But sing it, sing it like in a crooner way. You know what I mean? They're like <laughs> blue moon, like hello. I mean, not blue moon. Fucking <laughs> summer nights, just sitting around, and when the sun comes down, and it's like a Ready barbershop quartet. Hey. Like, hey. Hey, a little Rob's in the house. Uh, so <laughs> they like <clears throat> they go to the spot that they're usually at. Mm-hmm. Right, Bobby goes there just to clear his mind because that's what they end every night. All the fucking them drinking together, fist fighting niggas. They yep. fall asleep in the same spot, and they're just like Bobby's there, just like. Fuck. Like, this nigga, man. Like, thinking, like, am I wrong to want this space between us, man? Talking to himself. Mm-hmm. And then Kevin, like, like walks up and shit. He has, like, you know what I mean, a beer in his hand. Gives it to Bobby. And then he opens another one and shit like that. And they're just, like, talking back and forth. He's like, man, you know, try to get off the, you know, get shit off their chest and shit. And it gets real fucking kind of brazy. Niggas start talking rough and shit. Right? About about everything that like everything that, that should have been. They 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 had an initial liking of each other as far as like understanding where one was coming from. Yeah. Uh, Kevin understood Bobby because he was like, "Bro, people look at me for my atrophied arm, as people look at you for being black." Yeah. We're we were both we're walking we the were same both shoes. Great dog. We're both yeah. great. You have a future. I don't have a future. And this is what they're... Or so he believes. Exactly. And so they're talking to each other about this shit. And he's like, he's like, 
I don't know about a slider. You taught me a slider. What are you talking about? And he's just like, you, you have everything. You have everything. You can talk to girls, man. You can talk to girls. I can't talk to girls. And, like, it just it yeah. feeds into, like, a whole idea of, like, he feels like he he missed out on the opportunity because of his incident. But it was, it's not because of the incident. It's because of who he is. Yeah. He's not an outgoing person like Bobby is. As well as he doesn't have the answer every time. And his father makes him, forces him into that role of being his answer, own person. Answer right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like You don't got an answer? I got about two minutes. I'm going to need an answer. Or I'm going to fuck you up. And he's just like, you, well, you, me, and, me and Kevin, he's just like. So it starts to bubble between them. And, and fucking Kevin throws his fucking bottle down. And then Bobby just like, what's up, mother? And they start fighting each other. Right? And. And they start to fucking pop, 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 like fuck each other up. And they start to wrestle and shit and start to roll down this fucking hill into um, into a lake that's in a in this fucking clearing or creek. a puddle, a creek. Yeah. So they go into oh, this you creek. Oh, you the south now, isn't it? <laughs> right? They go into the uh. creek, right? And they're fucking, um, he's all, co- Kevin's all covered in mud and shit like that. And they're drawn back and like, he like, he does something like Bobby does something goofy like spit in Kevin's face and Kevin just starts laughing, right? And he's all covered in mud and shit. And then Bobby's just like he starts to laugh and then Kevin's just like, "Look, now we're really brothers." You know, covered in mud and shit like that. Seventy <laughs> shit. Bong bong bong. <laughs> That's <laughs> it right there. Yeah. Take out the spit part. Yeah. They're they're they fall into the mud and they're tussling. And then, like, somebody gets knocked down and somebody, like, tooth gets, to, like, loose or something. And they're like, and you're like, are you good? And you're like, I felt loose. Fuck. And look at each other. And then that's when Kevin is like, I guess we're brothers now. And he's like, yeah, you're, you're fucking stupid. And then, like, cracking up laugh, like, laughter that it breaks the scene, bro. Like, it goes past that. You don't even, their walk up to where they were, you don't even see that because they're just laughing uncontrollably no between each other and shit like that. And he helps, Bobby helps Kevin up and shit like that. And they like go like arm in arm, just like up the fucking mountain. And you see that them just laughing and shit and they become even stronger. Right. Because you have to, you have to have that, uh, that truth in a relationship to make it grow. Yeah. The second you start holding back from a friend and not saying what you actually mean, uh huh. You build a resentment. Exactly. You're like, why does this motherfucker have all this? And then you're just like... You could also just talk to him about it. Exactly. There's always that. Use Mm -hmm. your mouth. Close mouths don't get fed. And so this is not what the assistant coach wants and shit like that. But they come back even stronger. And they're smashing through this tournament. It's like a one-day tournament. I I don't think four games... And they're in there. Bobby's doing his fucking good ass job. Whoo, nigga, keep, keep, hold this right. So it comes down like the final game mm-hmm. is and they're playing the person that beat them, mm-hmm. right? And it's the same thing. Like they're so evenly matching this way that it's two one. But now they're reading each other, and it's not somebody speaking into them. Exactly. It's. The coach is saying some shit, and Bobby's just like doing the robot in the fucking bullpen, and he's Kevin's like, like laughing. And he's like, you, you, "This is why we lost last time. Y'all aren't together. Y'all aren't on the same page." Yeah. He's taking this shit as a joke. Yeah, you know how they are. Ooh. What do they do, serious? Ooh. And he's just like, "Hey, hey, man, hey. hey, man, we played in mud the other day. You need to calm the fuck down." Yeah. And, or maybe he even he sees that part of. Uh, the assistant coach sees that part of Kevin. Would it be too far for him to punch it? That's coach? what I was about to say. Yes, is it too, nigga. Is it too far? He was like watching like, during like a, like a really important game, and the coach is like, "What are you doing here?" And he and he has to like watch Bobby on on the mound while he's explaining why he punched the assistant coach. Uh, maybe it's in the bull in the dugout. He's like, he's yeah, trying yeah, to give him this what, shit. Yeah, exactly. Area, yeah. And then he like hits him right in his gut. 
and assistant coach. And it's like that cheer, that victory that we've been wanting this whole play, this whole movie. That like, man, fuck that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just that, that, uh, the, the, the villain dies at the end. What if, this is probably going too far. What if, uh, because of the, the season they've had, that people are understanding that, like, you can just be good at things. As far as the kids go in that team. Uh-huh. And they're like, we know when Bobby gets up there, at the end, he's going to finish this shit. They don't like it initially, but after a while, they come to accept it. Yeah. And they cheer for the nigga. And so when when Bobby or when Kevin gets into this scrap with the assistant coach and he's just like, you know, you know, they don't take this shit seriously. Derogatory term. And then. Bruh. Uh, Kevin punches the fucking assistant coach, right? Uh huh. Bobby sees it. Leaves the mound. Refs come to like block that up. And instead of working against him, the team comes to fucking help. In what way? They beat that nigga to death. No. Uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Why not? Hell no, bro. Hell no, soccer kicks to the head. No. Oh, man, nah, nigga. We need, we need these niggas to be friends forever, bro. And not looking through him uh, through a jail cell. Uh, so he punches his nigga in the stomach. And the team sees this shit, right? And he gets up to to do some more shit, and the team blocks him, like blocks the assistant coach, tell him to sit the fuck down. You know what I mean? He's like, "Hey, man, I thought we were on the same team." Like, nah, man, we gotta, we're here. We finally got here, and that's because of Bobby and Kevin. Mm-hmm. We're finally here. The, and during they the first punch us all in the face. Exactly. I, I know how hard they hit, and I, and I know you want to shit yourself right now. <laughs> So they, like, break it up and shit like that, and, like, his glasses are all disheveled, the assistant coaches. And mm-hmm. um, and uh, I want Kevin to go out there and fucking, you know what I mean? He gives him the signal, and he, because, um, so he gets the final nigga out, right? Mm-hmm. Now it's there up to back, because it's the, it's the uh, bottom. It's the bottom of the ninth. Okay. Right? So bottom of the ninth, they got three uh, two outs, and it's the same thing. But but let's remove all that, what we said about the punch in the stomach and Bobby into the same exact thing that we had in the very first loss that we had, right? And it would be Kevin's being told something, you need to do this, this, and this, and you got it, right? And Bobby's just like, nah, I think you should hit this motherfucker out of the park. You got this shit. And the assistant coach is like, you know, shit, you know, shut your fucking mouth. You've been always, you know what I mean? And pipes up to Bobby and Kevin has his back like always. Bow. Hits him in the side of the ear. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he's like, his, his shit is all off and shit. Equilibrium's off and his glasses are all disheveled. He's like, Kevin. And then uh, Bobby like walks past him, like mushes him and shit like that. And he sits the fuck down in the whole fucking, you know, the whole team cheers and shit like, hey, go ahead, man. Get us this fucking win. Get us this dub, bro. He goes out there. He looks back at Bobby. And Bobby's just like, hit this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Get this. Swing his little bitty ass arm up. Ball one. Oh, shit. He's going to try to walk this nigga. And we only have one person on second. Ball two. God damn, nigga. He's just like. Just breathe. He's looking back at Bobby like, nigga, like he's gonna try to he's gonna try to walk me. And then you're next, nigga. You're for sure gonna get the fuck out of here. And he's just like, like I, I got a good arm. I, <laughs> I think so fast. <laughs> and ball two. I mean a uh, ball three. And he's just like one more one more ball. It's four balls and then you right, go yeah. first, right? And then he swings back and he slow pitches it. You know what I mean? Wow! That man Kevin hits this shit super far. It looked like he went to the sun, bro. And then clears that shit. Bobby like, yeah, motherfucker. Right? They hit that shit and they round it. It's over. It's over now. Maybe it was 2-2. Two, two. And then a uh, person on second. And then Kevin got. And then yeah, it's 2-4. Yeah. And so forth. They're like, yeah. You know, getting fucking loud and shit like that. 
and they like fucking hug each other and shit, and they like hold they're holding up the championship like yeah, motherfucker, I told you, nigga. Like you know what I mean? And they do their handshake, dab each other up, and it fucking freeze frame with them being tossed up into the air, right? <laughs> and it goes, it goes, you know, Bobby, um, after high school went on to play for like the Mariners, right? And I love the Mariners for some reason. I don't know why I like the Mariners. Yeah. I love their hat. I think it's, it's just a hard hat. hat. The jerseys are hard as fuck. The, Jeter, G, I believe Jeter plays like The colors that. are fuck fantastic. Yeah. They're fantastic. So, and then Kevin went the long way to play in the league. He went Division three, and then from three, he went into the Triple A's, and then from Triple A's, he went on to play for the Mariners as well. And they became fucking, and then you see like a, old, like a picture of him like, uh, um, uh, Bobby did, Hell Robert he goes by Robert now. Where did the violence go? Uh, the the violence is all throughout. It's fights all throughout. Okay, okay. So you meant vi- I, when you said violent ending, I was like somebody gets hit with a baseball bat at the end of this. No, and and is done for. No, uh, violence as in they just fighting niggas the whole time. Okay. That's why it's called the Bruisers, is because they're fucking they're really those niggas. And they became those niggas like later on in life and shit like that. And it was, and they were fighting niggas before they even knew they liked each other. Exactly. Like, before they even knew the, they they had like a, a common ground. Yeah. They were like, "This isn't right. I'm gonna stand for this." Yep. Exactly. These good-hearted motherfuckers, bro. And yes. and it ends with them like they have like a picture, and they're together. It, it's it's uh the eighties now, and they have the right kind of juice. To help niggas out with like his arms are the same size now. He's like they're together. Can you do that? If yes, it's been atrophied for hella long. Yeah, and it's not. It's not like I said before. It's not completely atrophied like Boss Rutten. Boss Rutten. It, it was. It's on. just slightly noticeable because he's a sixteen-year-old nigga. Okay. You know what I mean? So you can't help who's be, who's kind of built like a nigga who does what he does. Exactly. And he's and he's he can. There's still muscle in there. You can build that muscle up. And all the shit like that, but it's them two together, and they take a picture, and they're fucking. They made it to the league together, and that's the fucking bruisers. I like it, and then they die. <laughs> the season into the no, I like it. I like it, and you know why? Because the bruisers, uh, you have to throw hands before you really like get to know somebody. You gotta yeah. be punched by somebody before you trust them. Exactly. I just believe that personally. Yeah. You can have a lot of people that are like, I'm down for the cause. Let them punch you. And see, like, if you should be worried if they punch somebody else. Yeah. Because I've been punched by people who are like, I'm not worried about you punching me if I'm not ready. Yeah. And I've been, <laughs> I've been punched by people where I'm like, I could be ready and I don't want you hitting me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I completely feel that sentiment. And when you have a nigga from Jump who's like that... And you guys shouldn't get along. Socially, at that time, you shouldn't get along. And then you got a best friend. And then you know what? A whole summer goes by with y'all just beating niggas up. Yeah, and it was just a start because they graduated high school together. You know what I'm saying? And then it just... They had their own little high school party because nobody invited them to shit because... They just start fucking people up. Yeah, and so they're just like out drinking like a sixer. And like, it's nothing like they got drunk or anything like that. It was just like... They get their buzz on and good old school times like you're screaming at the moon and shit. Yeah, and then go look at fucking Mrs. Mrs. Roberts' boobs because yeah. she gets undressed. Being a time. being a peeping tom back in the day was okay, I guess. Exactly, like it was just fine. But let's be real, big ass bait side window. Yeah, <laughs> that you get undressed in front of Miss Roberts. Stop twerking in front of that shit, and I'll stop beating off to it. Yeah, and we're just fucking two pairs of owls. Just chilling. Ooh, oh, <laughs> How about it? How about it? Bus. Uh, but yeah, you want, you want to close it out? All right. Thank y'all for joining us on the Scrapbook Podcast. This is motherfucking Bruisers, uh, Act 2 and 3. I like how it rounded out. Um, you can love your your brother, man, and not and not and it's not weird. You can be down to, to kill somebody and be killed for somebody. And it's not even family, dog. And this is what this story is about. It's about love. You know? Love people. Uh, don't stop being creative. Holla at us. Deuces. We love you. Peace.